We've seen an extraordinary run of very high temperatures all across the world. Record temperatures in China, smashing China's 2015 record in America, heat will affect anyone. Southern Europe, some heat records potentially being broken. There's been incredible forest fires in Canada, which turned the skies in New York orange. The world is definitely getting hotter, and that's a combination of the two things. One is that underlying force of global heating, because we keep putting more and more carbon dioxide into the air. And the second is this emergence of El Nino, a global natural climate phenomenon, which can supercharge the temperatures that we feel. So El Nino and La Nina are a cycle, which is the biggest natural climate phenomenon on the planet, which varies every three to seven years. It all centers around the Pacific Ocean. So we've just come out of three consecutive La Nina events. You had a stronger than normal winds blowing easterly across the Pacific, piling up warm water over near Australia and Indonesia. When those winds weaken, you go back to a neutral state. When you get into an El Nino cycle, what you get is much weaker winds. And what that means is the warm water on the surface of the Pacific sloshes all the way back across to the east and creates this enormous warm blanket over the whole ocean. So 90% of the heat that's trapped by greenhouse gases is absorbed by the ocean. The cold water is really good at taking heat out of the atmosphere and that's why El Nino and La Nina are so important. The reason that the arrival of El Nino now is really concerning is that the world hasn't stopped emitting carbon. Temperatures are still rising because of that greenhouse effect, mainly from fossil fuels. On top of that, we've got this El Nino event arriving. These red colours show that temperatures are indeed above normal. El Nino also affects uh, extreme weather patterns all around the world. It's like a double whammy. The heat waves will be more intense, longer, more damaging. Put bluntly, more people will die. In wetter places, because warmer air holds more water, you get more intense rainfall, greater chance of flooding, which are also often, unfortunately, deadly. The size of the El Nino really matters. So the last time we had a really big one was 2016, and that set the record for the hottest global temperature. It's quite possible that 2023 could break that record, or even more likely in 2024, because most of the heat is released in the following year. Fortunately, the answer is we don't know at the moment. What we do know is that until we stop burning fossil fuels and destroying rainforests, until we stop putting more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, global heating is going to get worse. With El Nino on top of that, the impacts around the world are going to be really, really tough. <laughs>